Hey everyone, this is Nate, and in this video I'm going to show you how I do my color separation and vectorization for screen printing projects using Illustrator this time. Um, if you're familiar with my um, channel on YouTube, you know that I've done videos on Inkscape and GIMP for both of these, but this will be using Illustrator. If you've used GIMP for doing color separation, you probably know that it's good in certain situations and it can be kind of a hassle in others. And Illustrator is does a much better job. Um, in fact, if you're doing this professionally, this is probably what you'd rather be using than something like GIMP. So the advantage that there's an advantage that Ink and GIMP are both free, whereas Illustrator is between five and six hundred dollars. Last time I looked. So if you have access to it, you know it can be a wonderful tool. Or there's a free trial on their website you can try. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to be doing the example of using Bloody Gur again. It was the first example I did. Made um, it's one of my first projects I was pretty proud of uh, a long time ago. So this right here is just a JPEG of Gur. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop him right in. And the first thing I'll need to do is embed. And let's go up here and say live trace. And you can see it gives us a solid color image, kind of like Inkscape does, but we want to be able to do uh, more than that. We want to do 6, 12 colors. So I'm going to undo this, say undo tracing, go over here and do tracing options, and then change it to do 6 colors and trace. So if you had an image, you know, that had a variety, if it was uh, a gradient somehow, if you had a variety of images and you want to turn it into a multiple color image that you can actually use for screen printing, you know, multiple but solid colors, this is what you need to do. So now it's given us six solid colors. And so now I'm going to say expand. And what that does, that's vectorizing the forest. And now each of these areas are defined by these lines here. So I can now scale it without having to worry about any vectors, uh, without any pixel of pixelation. I want to be able to scale it as much as I want. And so let's go ahead and do that actually. Have our image and uh, scale it by 100. That's right. And fill up the entire page. All right. So now let's say I wanted to make this a three color instead of a six color. Um, and there wasn't an option up there. Um, so let's let's try. Then uh, I'll let me switch. So try this magic wand, and I'm going to grab this red, and then I'm going to use the Dropper tool to make it the same as this red. All right. Then I'm going to grab this light gray and make it the same as this dark gray. All right. And I don't want this part up here to be part of the project, so I'm just going to come up here and erase it. All right. So now let's say you want to do registration marks. Um, maybe you're doing professionally. You're not using, you know, my kind of at-home version of screen printing. You're doing professionally. And you're going to need registration marks up there. If we get rid of this kind of feature, here. Um, so I'm going to uh, grab an image off the internet for registration marks. I'm just going to drag and drop them here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Embed, and then even you can trace this, and it gives us nice smooth lines. No. Um, pixelation. So now we just need to scale it down to something that we can actually use. Let's do 15%. All right, and then put this up in the corner. I'm going to do Control C for copying and pasting, and put registration mark in each corner. All right, so now uh, we need to prepare. Our Prepare this for doing our transparency. So I need to create a new file. Say OK. So now I'm going to let's start with the red. Grab all the red, hold down Shift, and we can grab all of our registration marks and it holds it you know, exactly the place where we need our registration marks to go. Say so Control C and then drop it in. And then we need another new page for the gray level. So again, we'll grab gray, hold down shift, and grab our registration marks. 
and then chalk my name. And then grab all the gray and we need to make this black. We're putting our transparencies. Red. Make it all black. We're putting our transparencies. And then here we need to get rid of red. Let's make this actually ready for transparency. All right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to check out my website for more tutorials or subscribe to my YouTube channel right there above. Thanks very much.